everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. It's game time, and no doubt this fellow's ready to go. Time for him to add to those passing stats and hopefully add a win to their record, too. It's the Bills going up against the Bengals. So let's send you up now to the Queen City of Cincinnati. Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon to my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the... Watkins alone on the left side. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The pass complete to Justin Hunter. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They go play action here on first down. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. He'll drop to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? They'll try and run for it with McCoy. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. And that's McCoy, who is still down following the play. Appears shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. now as they get set to take over here. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Get 
So a field goal apiece, that's all we have here in this first quarter. 3-3, our score. We'll return to Cincinnati after this. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders. Shoulders were made for greatness, not dandruff. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession. And they've got it here with a first down. They'll come out in the pistol. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. They'll look to throw here on first down. That is caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Robert Woods, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bills are in for six. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when... Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. So the grab there by the defense, the holding penalty call. They'll look to throw now on first down. It's complete to his tight end, Charles Clay. 15 yards through the air and a first down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Here's a carry now for Mike Gillisley. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Man open right side, it's the tight end, Clay. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Charles Clay, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bills have taken the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the
the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Here we go. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Green, 39! Green, 39! They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And this one caught by Hunter over the middle. Now he will have a first down here at about the 40. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not doing it. He came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, partner. So the offense has it first and 10. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Back to throw now on first down. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And he was able to find a very soft spot in that zone coverage. I love that term, Brandon, that soft spot where you find the open area, set up, and catch the football before the hard collision comes afterwards. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Another pistol look here. Green, 39! Green, 39! On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And they insert their dime package, six DBs here on third and six. Expecting pass all the way. They'll look to throw here. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Bills, and we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Deep in their own territory. They look to throw. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. It's a gain of seven, and that'll make it third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, right, and then go. breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the... And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here 
as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Then he'll find his target. Woods, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. to throw now on first down and that's caught left side it's Woods and he gets this inside the 35 yard line and 15 yards there on the catch and run I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender yeah well there they ran into a first down executed it to perfection they'll look to throw now on first down over the middle he's got Watkins Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. So second and medium, second and five now. Let's go, green, 39. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Man open right side, it's the tight end clay. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Okay, when the big guy runs a corner route, you're asking a lot, no matter who's covering him, doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back, yeah. he usually has the advantage because of his body type. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They'll look to throw here on first down. This will be caught at about the five. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Back to throw again. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Charles Clay with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Bills will extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. offense comes out ready to take over and they were able to punch it in the end zone last time they'll be looking to do that again here for the defense obviously they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone it always is punch counter punch isn't it and which team has the advantage well, let's just go back last time on offense they rolled downfield got into a good rhythm you see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle you can see the sideline really get into the game so defensively you're thinking to yourself how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And now a first down following that long game. the shotgun he'll look to throw he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete 
So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running right, it. On play action, they'll throw, and it's incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time, and it's third down. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look, 60 Bs. They'll look to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. And the offense lining up first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He completes it to Hunter. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Woods, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Mike Gillisley, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the... Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. Here we go now. 319. 319. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle and caught by the tight end play. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Now a stoppage here as we've got a Bills shaken up on the play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll set up a throw. His pass incomplete. Chris Gregg is tied in was the intended target. And now it's second down. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Looking for someone to throw to. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over.
Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. They come out here in the eye. That one looks like he'll throw here. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Nick O'Leary, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills will extend their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to... The Bills offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. Now Gillisley. And he'll be brought to... And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. See if they stay on the ground for tight second down. They stay on the ground. This is Gillisley again. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. should just about do it. Of explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow so for Buffalo, it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race as they move to six and four. And they'll return home next week to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, it was a game they really needed as they dropped back to four and six. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Cincinnati.